Hey, what is going on everybody? Today I'm doing a game review. This is my first game review ever and I'm pretty excited about it. So we're taking a look at Rocket League. This is probably my favorite game to date so I thought what better to start with than it. Rocket League is a uh, quite a special game. Like it's a it's one of those hard to find games that are easy to to start, easy to learn, but it's hard to master. It's it's hard to become really good at the game and that's one of its most appealing aspects it's also one of those games that you can sit down and play for 10 minutes and then leave it you don't have to devote this huge amount of time to it you can just you know sit down and have a casual match and then leave if you need to some games you need to devote like an hour to to really get anything out of it here you can just jump in play a match and then you know quit so First of all, I want to show you just around what the game is. I mean, I'm sure you've seen videos, but you have different cars that you can choose between. None of them have like very important aspects that fundamentally change your game. Like some of them are a little bit longer. Some of them are a little bit you know, different shaped. But none of them are technically better than any of the other ones. And the first car that you start with, which is the Octane, is what most people consider to be the best car anyways. It's their favorite, so it's not like you buy this game and then you have to work through uh, this, you know, this stereotypical game grind to get, like, the better things. It's all skill-based, and that's kind of uncommon for most games now. You usually have to, like, work through the game to earn this and that, but you don't have to do that in Rocket League. It's all skill-based. Now, there are cars that you can buy, most of them you would just buy because you think they look cool or you just want them for this or that reason. I have some of them. I don't have all of them. Uh, if you do get the game, my favorites right now are the Skyline, which costs, I think, $2 as a DLC. Uh, the Octane, either one of them. There's two versions. And uh, I also like the Takumi, or that one. It's pretty good. Batmobile as well. I don't know. They're all, you know, they're all pretty good. They're, there's not much difference. So, uh, you have this training mode that you can practice your skills in. You can just come in, hit the ball around, practice your moves, do what you need to do. I'm not very good at the game, so. Yeah. You see here. You can do whatever you want to do. And you also have these, like, dedicated training modes to boost your skills in certain areas of gameplay. Like, this is for aerials. Like, when you fly. You can fly. It's, it's hard to do. It's not something you start off trying to do. Um, uh, actual gameplay, you have, like, 3v3, 2v2, 1v1, and then 4v4, which is kind of... 4v4 is a little bit hectic. I like hoops. That's like a basketball version of this. I forgot to say it in the beginning, but Rocket League is basically car soccer, but I think everyone knows that. I'm going to play one game and just talk about it the whole time. I may not even play the whole game, but yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone uh, understands what Rocket League is, but... Maybe I can contribute something useful. So, the point is obviously, you know, soccer to get it in the other person's goal. But, uh, it's not like human soccer. It's, it's way different. And you can also fly around and stuff. You use your boost to do that. If you don't have boost, you can't fly. You can only jump. But flying is hard. It's not something you start off doing. And I missed that, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> Rocket League has become probably the game that I play most often. Well, no, I know it is the game I play most often. I don't really... Oh, why'd you do that, bro? Here, take that. I remember when I first got it, it was the 
the first time I played a game and had so much fun, and after a few hundred hours, which is, you know, a ton of time in a game, it got kind of stale. I, I got a, a bit bored of it. And then I just took a bit of a break, and then when I came back, it was just as fun as ever. Um, but it, it, it'll bring out your competitive side in a way that no other game will. I promise you that. That's uh, one of the best things about it is it's just it's so well executed of a concept. And I can't really play while I talk, but <laughs> you know. It's just n not many games take an idea and then translate it to a real product this well. And it just doesn't really have many problems. You know when you see a lot of games, it's, it's like, yeah, this is a good game, but has, has this wrong with it and that wrong with it and I don't really like this? Rocket League is not really like that. The Honestly, the biggest problem with Rocket League Aside from some people being really toxic, like, very uh, hateful people sometimes play it. Like, you know, those stereotypical, I hate my life so I have to make yours shit too. There's a lot of those people that play, especially if you do competitive. Oh, I need to talk about competitive rankings. Uh, but aside from some of those people who play, which I think is... There's people like that in every video game, but sometimes the servers are not the best and my game minimized. That's nice. GG. Easy. Uh, but yeah, most of the time it is a very reliable gameplay experience. You, you've launched the game and you know what to expect. And I really value that because I'm a college student and I don't have a lot of time to just devote to games so I need to know what's going to happen when I launch a game I don't want it to just not work or something but yeah the competitive rankings there are rankings for every standard gameplay mode that's 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 uh the rankings go from like, I don't know what it starts at, but at some point it goes from like gold to platinum to diamond to champion. And then the very top ranking is grand champion. There's not many people who are grand champion. When you get to that level, that's like competing in $100,000 competitions, which is quite insane just that a game commands the uh, community to have that kind of a competition that says something in itself it's like up there with dota i think well no it's not up there with dota dota is pretty ridiculous but you know it's on up there somewhere and it's a great game so that pretty much concludes the review and i'm just gonna quit playing because i can't Words are hard, you know? I recommend the game. If you want to buy it, I wouldn't get it from Steam because it's probably expensive. Hold on, let me see. Okay, it's $20 on Steam. You can get it on G2A for like 12 Sometimes it's a little bit less, so. If you want to get it, I would recommend getting it from a place like G2A because steam's a little bit pricey so it's a really cheap game twelve dollars and then if you like one of the dlc cars you can get one of the dlcs i would recommend if you want one of the cars the batmobile is really good and uh, the pack that has the dominus and the takumi those are well worth it in my opinion none of the other ones are particularly wonderful I've been using the Skyline lately, but, I mean, certainly don't need it. The Batmobile is a very nice car, if you like that style. And you'll have to play the game to, like, figure it all out, but 
yeah, it's a great game. I definitely recommend it. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe the next review. And I'll see you later.